Alrighty, welcome back mercenaries to another in the black tutorial. My name is Nathan, the video producer for Impeller Studios, and today we are going to be looking at joysticks, which you can't see these right in front of me right now, but you will soon. Uh, I am using an X56 advanced control flight system, uh, which I did have to read the label there, and you will tell right away this is going to be a little bit more of a more informal video because uh, it makes things more fluid so I can go back and forth as needed, which might help you too. But I will have everything time stamped down below. So if you have a question that you just came here for, you can just quickly go to the timestamp that's down in the description and you'll be fine. Um, I was hand chosen for this, uh, not because I'm the best joystick user on the team, but actually probably because I'm the worst or I don't have much experience with it. And I think that actually isn't a terrible idea because I have set these up before. I don't use them too much aside from testing or the odd match. I mostly use mouse and keyboard. So I think the thought is, uh, I guess I'm also the video producer, so that's a reason too. But the thought is that if, you know, if I can set them up and I can use them and I can play them, I can make them functional, you can too. So we should, we should have a lot of fun setting these up. As you can tell by the timestamps, there's going to be three distinct sections. I might have timestamps for the individual categories as well, but of like, like joystick setup. But uh, the main three are this intro right here that I'm talking about right now. The second part is the setting up portion where we'll be in the free flight mode and we'll have all the time in the world to set things up so that everything comes out hunky dory. And then three, we are going to be doing uh, a live test. Uh, we'll be doing, I think we're doing two different modes here. We'll be doing one with the developers in multiplayer. So that'll, that'll be fun. I'll probably, I'll probably lose, but you know, at least I'll be able to show joysticks in the multiplayer setting. And then uh, the second thing, or maybe the first, depending on how I feel, we'll do a simulator or contract mission so that uh, probably things will be a little bit smoother in there. Uh, there should be, it, it gives me a lot more time to play with it and show you more gameplay. And I think a lot of people want more gameplay of this game. So I think all that being said, there's not much else to talk about. We're going to set these up. Everything is still is, is functional, but still a work in progress. And uh, I think that we are good. So I will see you in free flight so we can set these joysticks up. Alrighty, welcome everybody to the, uh, well, the portion of the video where we're actually gonna be setting up the, uh, the flight system slash joystick. I personally don't know the difference, but I believe the flight system is this, the joystick is this. That's how I understand it. Uh, you will notice a slight lighting and maybe a volume change. That's just cause I had to move the mic alongside of the camera. But as long as that's not bothering you, which at this point doesn't really matter. I'm going to be doing it anyways. We should be good to go. Um, there's not much to say, except right now, just, just right off the bat, I will show you. I have no commands, no controls, nothing working. Now, the only thing that will work probably, which I chose a Pegasus for some reason, but that's what it is, uh, is the weapon system. I can't change them with my joystick. I can change them using the standard controls that are on the mouse and keyboard, but there's nothing else working. So I deleted my profile successfully for the most part. Not sure where I'm able to fire uh, weapons, but hey, it at least knows I like to shoot those. That's cool. Um, That's, everything's clear. I just want that known. So I'm in the same boat as you. We're not, I'm not doing anything that will, you know, make it so that you are having problems. We're going to go through this together. Uh, so aside from your, uh, your settings, you're just going to go, I forgot to say that, you're just going to press escape on your keyboard, go to options. Uh, you can also do this, just FYI, in the main menu setting, but I think it's just better to do this in free flight so you can test everything before you actually get into a uh, match. We're going to go to input mode, which will bring you, well, to this this thing with the categories, which is this is how the timestamps will be. Uh, this is just how they will be. Uh, so we have general, which is just the mouse sensitivity and whatnot. I think default mouse sensitivity is fine. We have autopilot, which I will show you in just a moment. Uh, communications, miscellaneous, movement, spectator stuff, systems. There's a couple different systems that, that, that some are, some are a work in progress. Some are working currently. So, uh, you know, that, that will be a thing. Uh, view. This is just, if you, if you're, if you're in spectator and you are, you're gone from the match, you've been destroyed, you've been killed. Uh, you can at least, you know, look around. I'm not sure if we'll be doing this with joysticks. You can do a couple of these. They are, they do work, but I, I mean, it's really not that great. Maybe if I have time at the end, which I will have time. So I will do it. And last but not least, we do have weaponry, uh, which is probably the one most people are most excited for. I will warn you that I am pretty simple when it comes to my weapons. I'm not going to be using the setup stuff. You can do it. Uh, you can do, you know, set weapon one. I'll, I'll set weapon one. That's just an automatic thing you do in your, uh, your ship customization. And actually, I bet if I do, let's see, a shift three. Yeah, it just it just turns on the C-Wiz, but you can just easily click uh, V on your keyboard anyways. But we'll be, we'll be changing that with the uh, uh, joysticks, or at least adding. 
So, <laughs> um, anyways, that all being said, let's go get in on to the actual setup process. And I'm gonna take a drink of water because this is gonna get this is gonna get long. All right, so uh, we have autopilot. Just, like I said, general, there's nothing. Autopilot. There's only one current autopilot feature in the game, and that is a uh, flip and burn, otherwise a full stop. And you can see I already I already put something here, and that's because I was just testing it out. But uh, if we go to key bindings, I want there is a button. Right, you can just kind of see. I'm, I'm gonna caress it here. It's this right here, a little 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 button thing on the X56. That I'm going to press. I'm gonna bring these back in so you can see the whole thing. And if I press it, uh, now see that I am activated with. And what a flipping bird is, if you haven't seen any of the past videos, which I may have to someday uh, redo, a flipping bird is essentially going. You know, you're going really fast one direction, and then you want to stop. Uh, you can quickly or to get, we're gonna, we'll get up to like uh we'll go up to 200 meters in a second and actually what i'll do so i don't hit the rock the asteroid i will just there we go all right and then i just have to double tap and it's not a single click it's a double tap there we go i just had to i, I had to put a little bit more force into it i was slipping uh, i may not be the best spot honestly for for it but it is what what works um and i think it's still yeah it's it's still kind of it's still kind of odd I will preface uh, the flip and burn is not that fantastic at the current moment, but it is a feature of the game, and my job is to show um, how these are working for black joysticks. So that is one down. And like I said, everything in these categories will be timestamped. Not sure if I already mentioned that, but I know I mentioned it in the so but all right, so we have full stop that is ready to go, and that will translate to all of our ships that will go all these um these uh these buttons will will go carry on over to other ships so you can just set them up once communication now this one i haven't really found much of a use for however you can do it and i think actually uh if i go to open up chat which is just a radio menu um uh you know what screw it i will make it uh if i go i gotta this here i'm gonna make it sw6 on my uh i don't know what this is the flight system uh this is just i'm just gonna do this and so that should when we exit out of here Oh, I clicked the wrong one. It's the the summon radio button. There we go. There we go. Now I should be able to, there we go. I picked the wrong one. There we go. And then what you could do is I bet you could actually, if you wanted to, we could have it set so you could probably toggle other things to make that work. So we just wanted this on, and then I feel like we go into options again. We go to inputs, communication. Um I'm not sure just like let make this up. There you go. So that should be that. And then this should be down. Okay. So looks like. So chat doesn't open right now, but uh, we could at least turn this on. So maybe if you have your mouse nearby, you can just quickly go like, you know, attack. Bravo. Attack point, bravo. Done. So that's functional. That works. Options. Input. Vacation. Miscellaneous. All right. So miscellaneous, honestly, stuff you probably don't necessarily need when you're in a match because the goal is just to you know win but i feel like if we we're gonna do one thing uh f8 i'm gonna leave the feedback alone uh that's f8 it goes to uh certain system that there's a bug you can report it uh the escape menu uh, just just press escape i mean actually you know what we can do uh that sounded that sounded like like kind of uh like mean no nah, just you can press escape or i mean we could probably set something up um since uh, this one's working. Will you? We'll do. We'll do. There we go. So up SW5 on my this little switch thing does that, and then down does the radial menu. So just I guess that's something. And also if you do it, you can just turn it on and off. That's something cool because you can't do that with the keyboard. Or, never mind, you can. <laughs> Look, shows to know how much I know about the game. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So miscellaneous is done. Movement. This is where this is this along with weapons is probably the, the 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 main thing, the main reason why you're here. So I will get through this. Vehicle forward. So there's a couple actual options. There's vehicle forward, engine throttle, and then vehicle forward and uh reverse throttle. I do not touch this one, and I do not touch this one. The only one that I I personally use is this one because oh it again. Uh because it works. Like it's just how it is and i believe if we go to i'm gonna have to go to dead zones the turn i'm gonna turn the dead zone up oh, 
gives me gives me a little uh like a larger dead zone what would you... and that dead zone if you don't know what a dead zone is it's essentially a zone where you don't have any um any function coming from like your controls just so that maybe you don't mean to uh uh use that i guess that function uh so you don't like you know something bad happens uh, although with my flight style they happen anyways uh invert the axis value so uh normally so i'll just i'll just show you this right now we won't go over this again but if you are if you are if you don't invert uh for some reason it makes it so go uh like i'm going backwards right now but then when i go forward you'll notice my meters per second over on the uh the left there uh the, it, it's 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 going off so you just have to go in here and i think that's just a standard that's something standard that goes through uh flight systems so you have to go in here and press invert and so that should just fix it right up so now when i go forward it works when i go backward it works and then because i want to stop i'm going to double tap this if i can or maybe I, oh i'm not going fast enough that's why ah it's working whatever i was gonna do the full stop the, the flip and burn out it i'm going too slow uh let's see here so we got forward down vehicle pitch this is like an aeroplane uh we need to go loop loop and then we need to go invert and then we need to go i'm going to put a dead zone just a little one here just so that it's a little Sensitive. And the dead zones are for your actual joystick. They're not for, um, they're not for like the actual the, the in-game. That's because joysticks sometimes something gets a little little odd. But now that I set up the pitch, I can go and you you can really feel the weight of this Pegasus. This is a big, big, big chunky chunky lad or lass. Slow us down just a bit. We go to options, input, movement. So we got the pitch down. We go to roll. Uh, roll, we have to make a new one. Roll is this. So that is the side to side action. So that's working. But like before, we do have to add in our dead zones real quick. All one. Invert. That should be. There we go. Now we can do, do a couple of things. We can roll, we can go down and stuff. Uh, as you can see, I'm just I'm very good at keeping the station uh, ready. And actually, I was trying to do this. That is the next command. That is, I do believe, yaw, right? If I guess it right. Uh, well, we can do we can do that in just a second. But we'll we'll do the uh, the strafing now. Strafing, I have yet to find a comfortable. Uh, this isn't the game. This is me. I have yet to find a comfortable option for strafing so strafing is essentially your ship is facing in this direction but you want to go left or right up or down uh without using your your main engines and i have i i, I have yet to find one that works that i like Oop, i did not mean to do that uh and i just i cannot find one that i like so what i will do is today because i'm going to just try something new if this is that sad thing i will do uh, let's see what is this this is vehicle strafe lateral i'm gonna do left to right with this little this little doodad dongle here i'll do that uh just because just for the sake of uh moving the video along go to invert oh we gotta slow ourselves down a bit here but now when i go to the side oh oh this is so this option for some reason invert makes it so you have to uh it's it's not actually correct Vert is wrong in this case. So if I go here, now when I go left, it's 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 left. When I go right, it's right. So you can always tell uh, due to uh, the little the little little arrow uh, thing that shows up, the little arrow with the plus sign, right? So that's cool. Now we need to get into the uh, movement. We need to go to vertical. So this is same thing. Go in here. We go to that, and this is. Vertical. I don't think we need to just that either. I'll do this close. I keep forgetting to. I. It's so difficult to kind of figure out because I again I don't use these too much. But yeah. So now we are able to go up, down, up and down. Are working. You can see. Uh, I probably should have picked a different ship because um, that way then you can see these markings better. There we go. Let's go in space. Um, yeah. Up and down are working as they're 
You can see actually by the arrow, the little arrow line in free flight. See how it's curving and going up and down as I'm going on. See, you can see the little path that I'm taking. That's great. Propulsion status. We are fine on propulsion. Input. We will go next to, so this is what I, I mentioned earlier, the yaw. So the yaw, what this is, is essentially, you take the joystick and it should have this option, like this. And so when you do that, and so for my joystick specifically, look how much of a difference you can see it on the right there. See that versus when I go left, I go right. So there's a huge difference. That's why you need the dead zones activated because otherwise uh, it will, I'm gonna go a little further than that just in case. Uh, Cause also, I mean, if I'm going, like if I am using the, I'm gonna want to go for it. So I should be able to then go like this. I need to invert it yet. I forgot about that because strafe kind of threw me off just a bit. All right, so that's good. All right, uh, linear and rotation dampening. So linear is uh, what? It, well, the linear or yeah, the, the linear damping is when um, you're going forward or translate. It's essentially tran translational damping. When you're doing that uh, and you and you go forward, it you're you're heading the way your velocity is taking you, not the way your ship is looking. So that's just what that is. And what I like to do, there's a there's a little little there's two buttons right here, and I've been doing this for a while is this one is for uh, translational dampening and then this one is for rotational so i should simply then it should be top and bottom oh it's different so at least not different on the peg just uh this one this there we go so now it should be there you go. Cool beans. Back off. That's not, that's, that'd be another thing, too, is maybe turning those on. But uh, I know that I was I was going up when I should. Okay. There we go. And if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, I'm really good at keyboard. Or at least I'm decent enough. It's just, you know, joysticks. All right. Let's go to... We're done with movement, I think, now. Oh, reverse throttle. This I have actually been finding to be very useful, especially if you're used to using keyboard. Because all you have to do then is just flick a switch, and it'll reverse the thrust, which... Uh, more propellant heavy i would say um but it is useful in a pinch like when you need to really slow down uh like it's kind of like full stop but without turning full around and it's a little slower i would argue too but because you're not using your main thrusters to slow down unless you're using the calibri uh so essentially all this is is i'm just gonna do this and what that does is when you are going let's say i'm going like oh no i'm, I'm going let's, let's say 57 59 58 uh, meters a second, I can just go boop, and I can go like this. So that little toggle on this this thing, it's this one right here. Boop. And I did move. Oh gosh, I did that. So, so I did. I did. I did do something. But so that's cool. That's working. All right. And then what we need to do is we go to options, input. I think we're done with movement. Yep, we're done with movement. Spectator. So. Really, honestly, I, I think I said I'd go through this. There's not much to really go through. There's not much to do in here, I don't think, with the uh, the, uh, the flight systems. But this is just uh, how to go through. Uh, like if you are, uh, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're in spectator mode, you're dead. Uh, you, I mean, we could, uh, we can, I mean, we could do this. I mean, it was, it's just we'll make an option so you can get rid of the HUD. We won't see that here today, I don't think. Uh, we will go to. We can also do like we don't want these. I just keep my stupid stuff. Uh, cycle targets, spec speed. Honestly, I don't think there's anything else I want. I think that's just the only one that could be useful. Is the uh, it, it toggles the UI so you can get rid of it and so you can get uh, cleaner uh, screenshots. Systems. All right, so the only one that this is useful for, at least at the moment, is deploying sensors, which I guess larger ships, we are planning on putting um, some, some, some other stuff too. But for deploying sensors, currently the only ones that actually have like a sensor relay, like expand out is the Shrike. Um, but because of that, uh, and I don't really use the Shrike all too much, I'm going to make it so it's toggle 4. So I'm going to do that. And then actually here, I will retain the hang I'm going to return the hangar and actually come in as a Shrike just to show you. All right, and we're back and we are in a Shrike. So I'm just going to go to third person mode here. And I will show you uh, toggle 4. And it it's just simply deploys the uh, the Shrike sensors. sensors. And then you can just click it again. 
that works. So that's my that's my toggle for it. And I can, I can go down too, but I'm not sure if that does anything in this. No, it doesn't, because that's a different. All right. So that's cool. Movement, we're done. Spectator systems, we're in systems. All right. Uh, Doc, so this was one I actually just uh, found out this morning, uh, like this morning before recording. Docking, we do have something where we dock. We go here, uh, let's see here, docking. Let's do docking we toggle for, because it's kind of not one you really need to use, but it is something that exists. So you press that, and that will, in the debris sweep simulator, uh, when you click that, it undocks you from the, the carrier that you're in. This is primary flight control. We've got a situation on our hands. Our carrier has been called to protect the nearby station from a potentially dangerous debris field. And here is just a quick uh, example of this working, the undocking. You just press, I'm just going to go down on toggle 4. And I am released. If I didn't do that, I would not be able to move with the Shrike. Ah, uh, systems. All right. So we got that down. When we click, click down on toggle 4, it works. Next up, we have eject. So this one, actually good enough. I well, like funnily enough, I suppose. I have on my flight system here, we have E, or I can't see that. Oh, did I just press it? I did. So it's this little it says E right there. Not sure if you can see it on the uh the camera, but when I press E, it will destroy my strike. And I'm not gonna do that right now because I want to just continue on. Uh, let's see here. We're going to do interact, interact, space bar, mouse, but they were not going to do that because there's no reason to right now. Uh, NFD interact. This is just, if you're in a strike, which actually, you know what, to be fair, I am in a strike as it's, you won't use it too much. I will just use toggle three. So if I press toggle three, when I am in, uh, mode, it should. Yep. So it switches me to look at systems. So this is, this will let me, uh, look down at my various systems and I can just, you know, look up, look down. And then I mean, you know, I'll activate my sensors. Why not? Oh, it gives out that pulse. That's kind of useful. Oh, that's neat. Go back to systems. And that's good. Interact. Yep, yep, yep. Mouse interact. Nope, no reason to do that. Uh, nav light. Nav lights are not a thing just yet. Toggle jamming. Nothing just yet. Uh, toggle lights. Uh, this is lights. And those are, those are important, I'd say. So since we did toggle three up, or lights. I'm gonna do toggle three down for them. So now when we are in our shrike, if we're like, oh, it's kind of dark. Oh wait, oh, it's kind of dark. We can turn off lights. Oh. Lights. One light on and off. Thank you. All right, back into systems. We go systems. Ah, uh, toggle lights, cool. Precision mode, not sure exactly what that is. I don't even think it is a thing, so I'm not gonna touch it. Main engines, this one, when we get eventually, there will be kind of like heat signatures or something like that. There will be some use for this, but as it currently stands, it doesn't. So I will just, I, I will keep, I will I will put a, uh, a key bind to it. We're gonna go up and that is now key bind. And so just to show that it works here and i think if i go behind here and if i'm if i'm going oops, that if i'm going like this and i go just turns it off so just just to, just to, just to, just to show that the uh the engines can be turned on and off but there's not there's not too much of a reason to do that especially since you have these uh what I have linked up here, the translational and rotational dampening. If you have one of those off, or the translational one, more likely, um, you'll be saving fuel anyway. So turning off your engine isn't necessarily something you need to be doing. Move this towards the center more because it's kind of moving out of my way. Uh, view. Uh, this is where we have, uh, well, where you look around. This is something I don't think I really want to touch too much. I mean, camera switch, we will add one for this because I think that... It, you know, there's a use, but we'll we'll just uh, have that right here. So we go down. It will switch camera view. I haven't found a way to you to do that so that you can look around when you're when you're outside. So no user beware. And the only other one that you can use here. Oh yeah, I forgot about the zoom scroll. Uh, I have yet to find an option that works for me for this. So there's a little rotatey thing here that works. So if you are uh, See, 
uh, say we're like, well, I'll just do this and then right behind like how it's going to look because you can't really rotate too much. Uh, if I go, uh, yeah, so this does that and then I can zoom in and out. Oh, I have to, that's right. I have to add an option for the other way. We'll just, uh, we'll, we'll invert this one. So like that, it should work because I had it working earlier. Unless, am I as far away as I possibly can be? So I tried it a couple of times and I, I had it working just a, just a moment ago, but um, apparently uh, the zoom scroll doesn't like being used. So that's just another one where it's just like, yeah, you really, honestly, if you're using a, a flight system and joystick, you're probably not going to want to go to third person anyways. And more than likely, you're going to have your mouse and keyboard ahead or gear you. So, you know, it's just, it's not something you necessarily need for flight. Um, but, you know, I was trying to do that. There's nothing else here that you really need. Um, that is useful. Uh, the control screen. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing there either. So, um, that's it. That's it for the view. And then we are on to weaponry. So, uh, weaponry. I this is another one kind of like movement when it comes to strafe. There's some things where I have found better ways to do it, but also at the same time, I just either can't remember or it just isn't as pretty as I thought it was. So, you know, change this as you feel. All right. So just just. Bear with me for it for the moment, okay? <clears throat> so, and some of this stuff I won't use because it's just, I just don't, I just don't use it. Um, so, select weapons. So, this is something I was just playing with the other, uh, just actually earlier. Oh, that's right. This is select weapons. Oh, that's right. This is the one I don't, oh, my bad. I'm going to probably just cut that chunk uh, out. You need to do, yeah, here it is. Weapon select up and down because the rotating things they don't necessarily like. Uh, this is, that's the problem. That's my bad. Uh, let's do weapon select up. We'll just create that now. There, there, there. We go. Got it. Okay. And then we need to go weapon select down, and we'll just go down on this little button right here. All right. So now I should be able to. I forgot. Yeah. There's that scroll one. That's something. There's something there that I don't. I'm not necessarily aware of. And so, uh, just if you know what that's about, let me know. But I think for the sake of this, I think this works. This works pretty. Options. <laughs> Weaponry. Um, so that's so yeah, ignore this mouse wheel down one. This one is only good if you if you're using your mouse and it does scroll, it's just I don't think uh for choice. Uh let's see here. Clear all targets. That could be useful. We'll make you know what I will do this be clear all targets because I feel like that'll be useful. Uh cycle enemy. This one I've been having a hard time trying to really uh make it work. I want the one that is, there's one that is, um, I'm going to make uh, this. I'm going to make this one. So I think there's a little B button on the side here. Not necessarily like the most comfortable to use, but I think if you, you know, if you're clicking it, I mean, you just need to click it once if you have to work. Uh, select target. This one, this is the one I want. And I will make that. There's a little button. You can probably see it right here. Boop. And I'm going to click that because that's that's just the one I've been using to target. I um, cycle targets. I will add actually this one because then we should be able to select a bunch of different targets. Uh, let's see here. Set C was set weapon. This is stuff that you don't need to really do in a match. This is stuff you should have already done when you're um customizing your ship and your loadouts and stuff. Cycle missiles, I mean, missiles are a weapon. There's not really much to do right now with this, so we might have another uh, joystick video coming out in the future. Uh, cycle targets, cycle targets reverse. I mean, sure, I guess. What do I even, what I, what I choose for that? I think I chose, uh, oh, which one? Yeah, that, that's, that's A. There's, yeah, there's not really much. I'm not going to bother with that too much. Uh, set weapon, set weapon, toggle C -Wiz. I think we already got C -Wiz selected. one she was it should be so if i want if i go into combat and i switch to this i should be able to go that's my bdb i should just be able to turn it on so kind of cool how i've got it set up is kind of finicky so if you have a better way of doing it please let me know or i do it yourself and share the discord because that's just how i've been setting them uh and i believe all of that being said and done, I think we are fairly ready. So I'm going to save and then I'm going to just quickly just do a quick test here in flight in, uh, in this mode. So we can do pitch. 
we can roll, we can use our yaw, we can shoot if I, if I want to, we can use my um, railgun, I can turn these on the sea whiz mode, that, uh, I can't really see anything else right now, these work, so, these work as I intended, so, this, we can we can even turn off the translational dampening and just let go and just start spinning. Oh, wait, we need to turn off the, uh, uh, yeah, so we keep the translational dampening and then we go. Woo! And then now we're free to just tumble along as we feel uh, fit. So <laughs> that is the, uh, I believe, the, uh, the joystick setup portion of this video. Uh, next up, we will actually be going into combat. Uh, and so we have the developer team kind of standing by. So we will go play with them, and then after that, I will do just a single-player contract just to show you how things are working. So, uh, thank you everyone for watching this section. See you in the actual combat. All right, welcome everybody to the gameplay segment of this, where we're going to actually show these joysticks in action. Uh, so I'll be honest, we did a round before this, and I got my butt handed to us, and you know, I want to, I want some good, uh, Want some good footage, so I am going to play as the Calibri one more time because that's what I was playing before. Uh, but as you can see, joysticks are working pretty well, and actually there was a targeting bug happening with the uh, the guns, but I think that that's just uh, that might be just blind spot, and that's something that I think we're aware of. Uh, but I'm gonna try and get rid of at least this strike. I want to get at least one kill this time because I didn't I didn't get nothing last time. I just gotta get up there before a missile's fired, or at least it's friendly missiles. So all right. Um, we're going to give him a couple shots. I'm going to, ooh, uh, wrong way. Ooh, okay, there we go, there we go. There. Uh, and as I said before, uh, when I started this, I am not necessarily a joystick player, so you have to forgive me if I, all right, where's that coming from? Where's that coming from? It's aimed at me. I don't know where it's coming from. Oh, there it is. It's, a, it's, a, no, no. Someone's launching a bunch of missiles at me. I'm not sure if those are mine or friendly. Oh, no, those are not friendly. Ah. Okay, so as you can see, <laughs> Uh, I think that was Westman with the uh, the missile Reus or Pegasus, uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but at least I got I got Jack, this is the director. He's got got a couple good things going on here. And as I I think I said I, I probably did mention this during the tutorial um, uh, part of like setting everything up, but uh, was I there's not really a good way to necessarily set it up so that you can uh, you know go out of bounds and, and look around and stuff. There probably is. I just, uh, my, my, my focus for this video is to uh, focus on showing the ships, or like the, the joysticks being able to be set up so that the ships can fly. Uh, in order to go third person, you have to press C still. There, there is a button, I think, for a joystick I can set up actually for that. So I will, uh, now that I am doing that, let's go to spectator. Oh. There we go. Uh, if I pressed a uh, free look is a camera switch so that I could probably go into here and I'll make a uh, toggle SW3 go into first or third person so next time when we're looking around I might be able to actually uh, uh, oh it's here that is Quentin's facing off was that a pegasus that is a pegasus oh they're trading blows oh they're getting closer they're closing the distance just two two, two hogs just going at it Pretty sure and it looks like uh Quentin's been taking a lot of beatings, although now he's actually able to return fire because his uh issues they uh were able to um cool down a bit. They're just slugging it out. And see, Pegasus are much more of like a support vessel. They're like, if you can equip some X215s on them, they are perfect, like anti-missile, anti-strike uh, uh, ships. But um, 
for weaponry, unless you get like the long range, like huge lasers, uh, which still can't do a lot of damage quickly, although they can, they can if it's a strike. Um, they they kind of suffer from that, so they, they suffer from their own success, you know. Like, looks like it's oh, it's just uh, uh it's just Westman and uh, who is the uh, the producer. Have a it looks like oh you can see the uh the the he's so far away i don't even know how far they are right now but the uh uh whatever weapons here he's using they are they're the bullets are kind of going bye bye uh too quickly they're not even oh nope there you go now he's in range i wonder if, what are they what are they just oh no no you can see that they are just being back so they're oh westman killed himself somehow sting sting Alrighty, this round I'm doing the Pegasus because I would like to annihilate with my big old lasers. So I am going to just simply do this. And then I do have I do have missiles on this thing. So I will try and maybe use those. I gotta remember this thing's a little bit of a, more of a pig, so I might not even touch my throttle here. I might actually get down a little bit. Uh you Target You know what? Locked. I will respond in kind. Uh oh. No! No! I, my, I think my missiles have been disabled somehow. Come on! Oh boy, oh boy. There's three. Oh, there's three goes. Yep, see, that's what I was talking about last round. Uh, there's probably a way to look around here, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna keep going backwards because I like people at being in front. Oh, there's a Pegasus. Oh, good, it's me and Quentin. Uh, let's get rid of, hopefully we can get rid of Noah. Oh, I just blocked the uh, missile just now. Oh, oh, actually, I didn't block a missile. I actually took it, and now all my weapons are disabled. I'm going down! I'm gonna go third person, maybe, if I can. Oh, that doesn't help me much. Just gonna turn off my T-damp. So that's the thing you can see on my uh, left-hand corner. You can see my uh, stuff working, but yeah, I think... Oh, I still have missiles! Oh, oh. I get rid of Westman. I can. I'm gonna try and launch as many as I can at him. I've only got a few left, but hopefully they'll be able to arc and hit him. Because sometimes missiles are a little they're a little weird where uh, you really have to figure out the arc and how the uh, actual missiles can angle themselves, but I might be able to nab him here. I don't know. Uh, oh. Yeah, a couple are gonna get through. Ah, no, I wasn't able to get him. Okay, I gotta also fix my, um, this one is being silly, but I also need to get, so I'm going to just, oh, oh, that's just, that's a, that's a bug. Let's see here. Who's left alive? It's like, it's just me right now. Let's turn myself a little bit. Okay. Where's the missile? Where's the missile coming from? The Westman. Oh, you don't hit him with my stuff here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going so fast right now. I just realized how fast I'm going. I'm going 716. Oh boy, All right, I'm violating. I'm violating the zone. No, I think I'm gonna blow up because I went too far out. Uh, I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, but I am not a joy a regular joystick user. Uh, so this is this is why I was chosen. So if I could set this up and figure out how to fly, anyone else can. Oh please, I'm trying to slow down. Like if I go, maybe I use my strafing and I can maybe go up to angle myself back towards the transit marker. Uh, this is 150. No, 100. No, oh, I went too far outside the bounds. Ah, uh, that's all right though. Leith wins. Oh, did we win? Oh, we did win the last one. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's tied right now. Awesome. So this is just open space, by the way, too. Uh, because I'm not. I chose it. I told everyone we're gonna do this because uh, it, it, it's just easier for me to show what I can do with these and uh. I'm gonna go with the Pegasus again. I'm gonna lose a lot of money doing this, but um, I'm also gonna slow down just a bit too because that is not cool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on and then I want to, now it's not really a good way to, I gotta make a figure out a better way to, I think I might actually make this lever on the bottom here um, cause that's by zoom, but I don't think that's really good for this. So 
Um, I might, I'm, I want to take out, I want to take out Pegasus if I can. Or, uh, Westman. Yeah, there's, like, there's gotta be a more efficient way to switch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Westman. Oh, I, I have his engines, I got his engines! I got his engines, I got his engines. Alright, I'm gonna try. Ooh, try an angle, come on. I'm gonna angle him again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send all, I'm gonna get rid of Westman, that's my goal. There's one goal I've got, it's that. And then I think I can go to third person. Okay, there's a target up there. We got I got Westman or Jacket at least. Uh alright. Alright. Oh yeah, we got him! Okay. Who's left? I'm gonna try and launch whatever remaining missiles I have at him. If I can aim. There we go. Get up target. Let's see if I can't get him. He has no engine, so he's going rather slower. He has no acceleration, I should say. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take one of these. I'm gonna actually turn it off a sea whiz and yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out a better way to use uh, oh I turn off my rotation damper. I might turn this off though I can do all the works. All right. He has no oh he had to, he has oh he's the uh, He's doing the art. There's a new variant of Reus that we're coming out with uh, it's the yeah, mobile artillery So it's a Reus with the railgun strapped to it and it is it's well it's, Pretty powerful. I think it needs to be uh, 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 just the, 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 the hull needs to be nerfed just a bit because it is very powerful. But there we go. Although it is it, yeah. So there we go. We did it. Now I did. Do, that was just the uh, that was just the, uh, the 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 Pegasus though. So I I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to my Calibri because I think the uh, the Calibri. Uh, well, I mean, there's a lot more flying involved. I mean, I have to actually get behind people, and I think that's good practice. Uh, I would do the strike, but with the vehicles that we're coming out with in this in this testing ground, I, I don't want to do that, so. Um, I could turn these on auto, but I don't, I don't want to turn them off. I'll, I'll do it manual. A little bit more comfortable that way. Uh, slow down. Let's see here. I, can't, I cannot go after a Pegasus. That's just not in my thing. What I can go for, though, Target. is that mobile artillery carrier. That's, that's, that's what I'm going for. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna dive. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down and under. And by under, I mean angle. I, is he looking at me? Ah, shoot. Camp. You stop that. But <laughs> unload. I am in range, so I should be able to do something to him. I'm gonna try and boost a little bit so I can feel. Try and do this. If we do this angle, get a little bit of a longer spread. Now, hang on. Oh, missile. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Target the missiles. Oh. Oh, down. Dive, dive, dive. Uh. I'm gonna try and dodge him. Try and dodge him. Oh, I, I dodged both of them. Okay. Oh, there's more incoming. Yeah, I don't, I don't think those ones are aimed at me, though. It's fine. I can deal with that. All right, who's left alive? Let's see here. Oh, do we get the, uh, yeah, we got, okay, the, uh, mobile here, or the mobile, uh, artillery is gone. Uh, let's see here. You know what? My target is, I guess, now, uh, I think it's, it's ooh, unless he's got GSUs. I don't, well, he's got GSUs, but I don't think they're the type that are going to hurt me. I'm going to try and get him a little bit here. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to lower my speed. Oh, it's getting a little laggy because there's so many missiles floating around. That's not good for a video like this promoting the game, but this is supposed to just show that the uh, the uh, GSUs are indeed working. I'm just going to try and get him here. Might be able to get a Pegasus. That'd be kind of cool. I am hitting him. I'm, I am annihilating him right now. Sending everything I've got downrange. Oh, he got, he got hit by a missile. Or Oh, wait, no. He's, oh, I think he's purposely spinning like that. He can. He was reeling there for a moment. Something got him. Oh yes, let's get him. I'll take a screenshot because I can. Oh, my propellant's kind of low. Oh, who's left? There's. Oh, there are still strikes left. I'm not gonna be able to destroy the Pegasus, so I'm gonna try and focus on these guys. These are something I can actually. Attack. No, no, oh, they're hurting my. I'm gonna spin because that's a good trick. Uh, they are trying to take all my engines. 
I'd really rather not. I could help it. Alright. Oh, that's right in front of me. Come on. I want that strike. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's trying to. Oh! No! Ah! Oh, I went. I, I didn't see. I didn't see Westman. Ah! I didn't. I didn't see him there. I, he just came up right in there. I was. I was. I was tunnel visioned onto the. Uh, onto that strike. Oh, he got me though. He got me. But I think there's a way. I, there's got to be a way I can uh, maneuver the camera using. Um... Ah, you know what? I'll leave that. I'll leave that alone. I will just uh, do this because my my focus is supposed to be the. Uh, the, uh, the, the the flight, so I'll just leave that alone, just so I can show off some. See who's left. We got Swish Wish, the uh, our little AI friend. He's actually he's putting in the work. Then we got Darth Quazo and Jack. So all the main main three. I got got. Ah, oh, what's with that Pegasus? I kind of tried to stay on him, but okay. So so we did win though. Okay, so at the end there. Um, see how much I even made. But so this is just a, uh, just to show that joysticks, uh, they are they do work. I'm not that great with them, but uh, flying with joysticks does. Work. I did make some money. I did lose two Pegasus though, so that does make sense. I got a couple. Welcome to Enceladus. This one is gonna be a bitch. Proceed to the mining station marked on your waypoint indicator and destroy all indicated targets. Keep your ship in the trench. They have multiple powerful rail guns on the surface that will tear you apart. They really don't expect attacks from the trench, so it's lightly guarded. Keep close to the surface and move fast. All right, just like the narrator said, we gotta stay close to the ground. So this is one of our newer missions, um, and we'll see this only if the director lets me, because I'm kind of just doing this how I want to. Uh, oh, yep, there you go. So we are gonna just use our newly made trolls. I've got my Calibri here, and I just have a mass amount of weapons. Not sure if I'll have enough to actually to like beat this mission because it is a little tough. I'm actually gonna spread these out. You guys, you guys know that now that you're watching that I am using uh, joysticks to complete this mission. Um, you want? To, uh, as you can see, I'm a little, I'm a little uncomfortable using these. Mostly, I think it's just because my setup. Like if I was able to bring them out wider, I would. But I want to keep them in camera. Hey, stop that! I'm winning. I'm the, I'm the main character here, not you, Mr. Turret. Wait, a little quick. Get in here. Hopefully, I don't die. I'm gonna try there to press the viewers. The target. Move in. Gotta go nice. Nice and steady. Use. I'm gonna do it. There it is. One click from target. Move in. Whoop. Whoa. Okay. So that's a problem, too. I gotta slow down. Ooh, ooh, don't. Oh, God. I'm being targeted. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's rail guns. Rail guns incoming. Oh, we gotta get down to the trench. All right, we're fine now. All right, we gotta target the uh, turret there. If I can, there it is. Get rid of it before it attacks me. Oh, there's another one here. Let's try to slow down a bit here. I'm gonna use my strafing. All right, we're Go. So we just the goal of this mission is simply just trying to destroy these containers. So I will try and go up a little bit. Uh, up here. So you probably saw the multiplayer um, beforehand, and I definitely, I definitely lost. Uh, but um, I think that uh, I, I think this is a better actually, uh, just like to show joysticks because we did open space. Uh, just for a test. We did blind spot as well, but that one did not do so well, so I kind of wanted to do, uh, try to do this. There might be a rail gun in this trench, so I'm not sure. Um, but, I mean, I should be able to potentially do get these guys out. But I think, I think it's just a better example of, uh, of what, what it's, what it's like doing joysticks, because there's a little bit more when it comes to the piloting. It's not as easy as just simply, just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dry fire. Oh, God. Oh, up, 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 up. No! Uh, okay. Oh, I thought I. Whew. All right. I, I thought I. I thought I was about to end the mission there by exploding. Well done. All right. 
I did lose an engine though, uh, which if we go to if we go out to the back here, right to I'm just gonna say lost an engine. I'm not sure exactly which one. I think it's one of my top one. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. So one of my one of my top engines is uh, uh what would you call that? Like not star yeah, it's just top 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 uh port uh engines. So I have to be a little bit more careful. You actually, oh, I just hit the canyon wall. I'm just gonna ignore it though, because the Calibri is super sturdy. I don't need to do anything. I'm gonna take my hand off this, because really, it's tight. And I think, actually, because we did have that button. Yeah, look at that, MFD for the uh, the Calibri. So you can kind of see that we are missing, um, I think our left pylon. One of our uh, weapon systems is damaged too. You can see that the red, the red glow. Um, so that's tough. We're just gonna slide to this canyon. Go out. Even though we're in space and leveling out doesn't matter. I mean, I could just, I could fly the whole thing, quote unquote, upside down if I wanted. Things get kind of weird then. Which, I guess I'm staying here anyways. I like this. I, I like, I, I can't handle the, uh, that's, I have to have a top bottom kind of thing going. Nope, nope, target the uh, weapon systems. Nope. Ooh, come over here, guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Slow down. Oh, got it. I use my strafing. Oh, I think my strafing got re reversed somehow. So that's something I have to be aware of now. Alright, there's just one more section left. And we have beaten this mission. But we haven't died. And I think I can target these uh these turrets from a little farther out, I think. Should be able to. I have five I'm five kilometers out, so these weapons aren't that great at this distance. They have a really like awful spread. Um this. And the main goal is just these uh these uh, boxes, but um, that turret's getting too big. Get him. Alright, then that is the end of this. I think we've won. There we go. Smooth work out there. Now, get the hell out of there. We'll pick you up at the designated rendezvous. Alright, and that is the end for this joystick video. It got a little long there, but I think the timestamp should help. So I guess if you just wanted to click on it to see gameplay, you can go there. If you wanted to see it to set up joysticks, you can. And for some reason, if you wanted to watch my intro, you can just, you know, click there and find it. Um, but uh yeah, we're done. We we figured out joysticks. There's a couple rough moments there, and I might have had I might have uh uh just cut out a couple chunks because they got a little weird or awkward or and something just wasn't working right as I intended to, or as I, as I intended. But for the most part, everything worked. Everything was was functional. Uh, at the end there, something happened where I think I might have turned it off, or I did have to log out and come back in, but I think my uh, st vertical strafe... Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Vertical strafe was not inverted, so I'll, just, I'll save that to my profile. And now whenever I come back, it should all be hunky-dory, and we fixed it all up. Uh... So I'm not really good at ending these kinds of videos, but I suppose, you know, I'll just do what every other uh, channel does. And, you know, In the Black does need as much uh, uh, coverage as possible. So if you liked this video or you thought it was helpful, you know, hit that like button. It, it lets us know uh, what you thought about it. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or something you want to talk about, put it down in the comments section or you can join our Discord, which will be linked down below as well. I'll actually put it in the uh, comment section as well. So you'll, you'll just see it there. Uh, and then uh, you want if you want to shit us around, if you think there's some people that could, you know, have, you know, have some use from this, that's good too. Uh, or subscribe. That helps too. It lets us know who's interested. lets us know uh, how many uh, people we've got. Uh, and then also, last but not least, uh, you can go wishlist this game on Steam. Uh, it's still, you know, there's some, there's some things to... Uh, to figure out but as you saw in the multiplayer and a little bit in this in the uh the 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 single player mission uh you know it's it's a pretty fun game the single player mission it was a little little slower i was just trying to make it so i could actually win uh -huh. 
but uh, the multiplayer, I mean, you can see the multiplayer, it's pretty fun. I think there might be two matches. It depends on uh, how I'm feeling and what kind of footage you got from both those matches. I think one was blind spot and the other was open space. Uh, so you'll be able to see a little bit of variety there. Uh, but that all being said, that is all we have for you today. So thank you everyone for watching. I uh, hope you have a good day. Join the Discord and we will see all of you fellow mercenaries uh, in the black later. So bye everybody. Have a good day.